Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how we can use the PG Admin 4 for a Postgres SQL. I have installed the Postgres SQL version 10 on my local machine. So we can see that how we can access that server with the help of a PG Admin. First of all we need to add a server information in a PG Admin tool. So this is how we are going to add a server. So click on right click on the server, create server. Add your connection details. This is the host name. As I have installed my Postgres SQL on my local machine, so I am going to use a local host. Your all the other other lower server related information. There is a post uh, port port number, your database name, your username, and the password that you have. that we are used for while creating the user and here you can give any name for the server so here you can give any name that you want to add here you can see that the local project SQL 10 version has added in the server list now we can expand that so here you can see that the uh, uh, database model so in the database so we can create a uh, multiple databases and each databases we can create a uh, multiple schemas so first of all we will create a database so before we create a database just consider a simple example we need to create a database for the ERP module. So in ERP, there are the multiple uh, sub modules are available. That is the first one is the HR module, second is the PM module, and third one is the CRM module. So HR stands for Human Resource Management System, PM stands for Project Management, CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. So we need to create a database for the for this ERP. ERP model. So I will create a ERP database. As you can see, that ERP database has created. Now I will create a different schema for each sub module. So first one is the HR schema. Then PM schema this is the project management. And the one is the CRM. CRM. So as you can see that in each database we can create a multiple schemas. Understood? It's very simple. So now to create a tables in particular in that database in the ERB database, we need to create on a ERB database and go to the tools and click on the query tool. Now this SQL editor that's open that's belonging to the ERP database as you can see over is that ERP on Postgres at local Postgres SQL 10 this is the server name that we have given this is the Postgres is the username and ERP is the database so whatever query that we are going to execute or whatever code that we are going to write over here is belonging to the ERP database suppose if we create another database Now uh, with the so database name that I want to give that LMS library management system suppose I'm going to save it so we 
this different thing. So, yeah. So, as you can see, uh, this new database has created as a LMS. This is a library management system. So, if you click on the LMS, if you go to the tools, if you click on the query tool, the new query window will get open. Now, in this, whatever the queries or whatever the um, code that we are executing that's belonging to the LMS database and the whatever the query that we are going to execute in the ERP in this editor is belonging to the ERP database so we need to uh, make a precaution we need to make a precaution that uh, on which database we need, we need to execute the Okay. Suppose there there suppose there are the two tables that belong to the both the both the databases, then we need to make sure that on which database we need to find that the query. Okay. So I'm going to close this query window. I want to oh now so I want to create a tables in a ERP database. Suppose for example I want to create an employee table. So while creating a table is very important to mention the in which schema we need to create a table. So, so your syntax will be your schema name that is HR. So I want to create an employee table in the HR schema and your table name. Employees. This is very important. So mentioning the schema name is very important if we if we miss or if we forgot to return the schema name then by default this employee table will get created in a public schema sorry we are in the ERP database so by default this table will create in a public schema so it's very important we in which schema we need to create a tables so so basic structure of this uh, of this database is that in database we have a multiple schema in each schema we have a multiple database objects like uh, we have tables we have indexes we have uh, procedures so all are belonging to the particular schema so these are the attribute of the employees now we can see the column names of tables imply and would not null constraint emp name where care and emp mobile name Sorry, mobile number has to be unique. I don't want to put it though. Okay, then I want to put a constraint. So you know, constraint. Constraint name. Which constraint I want to put a primary key on column A and B ID to execute this query. You need to select the query first and then go to the execute command. So, this is actually a execute button. So, this table is created. Now, now we can see that uh, in which schema this table gets created. You can see the PM module, PM module or PM schema. So table is not there. So if you go to the HR schema, you can see that table is created in the HR model. Similarly, I want to show you what happen if I, if I'm not using schema name while creating the table. 
so I'm selecting it as you can see that a table gets created is not going an error that a table name already exists the reason behind is that this table is now belonging to the public schema as you, as you can see that uh, in a public schema the one table gets created as an employee and in HR schema if I go to refresh this is only one table is available so if I try to execute this command again then it will show I know uh, should it will show an error that relation employees already exists so it's very important to mention the schema name while creating a table in a PG admin thank you